people uh, to the league. You know, a lot of people came from Texas first round, you know, and that was a good choice for him to go because it was a, it was a good program. It was a way to help him get noticed more often, and it was a D1 school, you know, top school. In the sophomore season, Vince Young led the Texas Longhorns to the Rose Bowl, where they defeated the Michigan Wolverines. The next season, the Texas Longhorns went undefeated and won the BCS National Championship game by beating the University of Southern California. Come too far, too hard not to be in the Rose Bowl. The 2005 Rose Bowl, that was the year that the Texas Longhorns just outplayed everybody, you know, and Vince Young, who I thought should have won the Heisman that year, just outplayed the Heisman winner, Reggie Bush, who the top two, you know, they was the two best players coming into that game. And, you know, Texas, they, it, was just, it was just meant for them to win. And, you know, that was a good year for them. The events of the 2006 Rose Bowl, Vince Young, Reggie Bush, Texas versus USC. Vince Young, he had a great game. Reggie Bush did too, but, you know, Longhorns wind up came out on top, even, you know, you know Vince Young. Rushing for yards, scoring touchdowns, throwing great passes, making great plays. It was a very intense game, being that the school that they were going against were their main rivals. So the whole time it was very intense. And then it was really relieving when we finally won the overall game. On and off the field, I think Vince Young is very consistent at what he does. Vince Young's attitude on and off the field is great. I mean, not too long ago, uh, they did a documentary on him and they had it shown on TV and he was explaining to people how his lifestyle was, you know, how great his thought it was. So, I mean, he said when he was younger, I mean, he could have ended up not playing football, but he got encouraged to go out and play football and he wound up liking the sport and became a great quarterback, as you see now. Jamal Charles has talked to me a lot about Vince Young and how he is on and off the field. He said he's a fun person to be around with. He's He's comfortable to be around with, meaning that during the games, if they're in a tough situation, he knows Vince Young. Vince Young knows, you know, we go win this game. He always said, we go win the game. Don't worry about it. We go pull through this. You know, he's just a comfortable person to be around with. He knows when he's in the game, there's no doubt in his mind that they go win. After his spectacular showing at the 2006 Rose Bowl, Vince Young decided to forego on his last year in college and go to the pros. I feel that the Texas should have drafted me because uh, I love Houston. And I, wanted, I always wanted to play for the Texans. And I feel that, you know, they should have drafted me, but, you know, that's how the draft works. And I'm with the Titans now, so that's my new home. So I feel great about it. Vince Young is a great quarterback. The Texans needed a quarterback that year, and he's from Houston. I mean, it, it, it was just perfect for him to go. And the Texans, that was just a mistake they made and the consequence they had to suffer. The Titans have a good chance to go into the playoffs this season. I mean, they're 6-3 and three right now. They're in second place in their division behind the Colts. And... I don't think they'll win the division, but I'm pretty sure they'll win the AFC wild card and win, get into the uh, playoffs. If Vince Young has to pull through this season and get back uh, healthy, and if he stays healthy for the rest of the year, they'll, they'll make it to the playoffs. I feel we have a great chance to get into the playoffs this season if we just focus on what we have to do on the field and off the field, as well as uh, taking one game at a time. I feel Vince Young is a Tennessee Titan. I mean, he's doing good, you know, like his first year, I mean, he was just new to the NFL, but, you know, his second year around, record, their record is 6-3. They're doing a great job this year, you know, defeating teams. I mean, even though they lost a couple, but they still have a chance of making it to the playoffs. Vince Young won't struggle from the sophomore slump. I mean, because, I mean, he's doing so great right now, but, I mean, it's not a chance. I mean, as you look, I mean, if you watch the games and pay attention to what he does and what other teams do, I mean, they have a good chance, you know, of going, doing, being a great team in the end. Ben Chung is a significant person because he has accomplished so much in a short time here on earth as being one of the few black quarterbacks playing in the professional football league. My greatest accomplishment is, uh, you know, the stuff that I can do on the field when the Rose Bowl was here, the last two quarters of the Rose Bowl and how I took over in the fourth quarter, and we came out with a victory. I feel Vince Young's greatest accomplishment I mean, is being you know, one of the top drafts in the NFL, first of all, and second, you know, going into the NFL and taking a starting position at quarterback as a, as a, as a rookie and came out on top. So far, his greatest accomplishment 
was, was a winning rookie of the year. You know, he, he came in as a rookie. He, he kind of dominated in the NFL at a quarterback position, which is the hardest position to play. And he led his team, who was falling off, to come back into the be one of the top football teams in the uh, nation right now. Being featured on the cover of Madden 08, you know, it won't affect his performance. I don't think it will. I mean, it's always been a curse for the past couple of years that the person who's on the cover seems to get hurt throughout that year and, you know, he won't be able to help or contribute to the team's success. And, you know, well, he was hurt earlier this year, but he just came back. But, you know, the Titans will go bounce back and he'll be all right. I mean, being on the cover of Madden 08 really won't affect Ben Simmons' performance because all it basically is is a game. And, it's, you know, it's just what they're doing, the EA Sports, they're acknowledging him as a great player by placing him on the front of the cover of a football game that so many teams play nowadays. I really don't uh, see it as if the mad curse, like they say it is, like how you be on the mad uh, cover and you get hurt. I don't feel like that. I mean, I just say it's a great accomplishment for me and I would just perform as I should for the, uh, for the rest of the season. Ben Simmons' future is very bright. I think he'll be a very threat. He'll be a, he's a threat in a quarterback position. And uh, as he matures in the game, he'll he'll become uh, a great prospect. You know, I think he'll be in the Hall of Fame someday. Getting a ring in the Super Bowl is what I always wanted to do. So going to the Super Bowl in the future, that would, that would be a good chance for me going to the Super Bowl. The cover of uh, hey, I'm tripping. Huh? Oh, I feel great about winning the Rookie of the Year award. Thank you. <laughs>